Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of August. This is being recorded in July, so if you watch it in July, August hasn't happened yet. So keep that in mind. Then again, the timing is fluid. This could happen in July. I am saying this is for August. That is my intention. I am. My intention is this reading is for the month of August. It could be September. Let's just see what comes up. What do we? Could be at any time. And then again, this reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for Gemini for the month of August? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I think you're going to be receiving messages. Okay, well, the thing is, is that bird, that bird is really, um, you know, you can hear it very, very well. It's very uh, prominent so far. It's just, it just won't shut up, you know, and I don't want it to shut up because it's a beautiful sound. So you're probably going to be hearing something very beautiful this month. Um, messages are coming. Power. Now, you're going to be in your power. This is strength. Okay, you're going to be in good health. You're going to be feeling good. You're going to be looking good. You're going to be feeling very strong. This is a, going to be a time where you are probably vibrating at a high level. This is high confidence. You're in. You're enjoying yourself. You're, you're mastering your emotions. You're calm. You're, you're fearless, right? You're fearless. So you are right in your power this month in August. And it happens to be an eight, which is the month of August. So this reading is going to be for August. I just know that it is. You're going to be, this is going to be a very powerful month for you. Um, you know, and it's interesting because you think about Gemini, there's two sides to a Gemini. And I think that there's going to be times where both sides of you come out. Okay. So be prepared for that. Um, either way, you're, you're going to be, it's going to be a really strong month for you, okay? And you're going to need to uh, be strong as well or for some reason because that is the card of strength. So you're going to need strength for some reason. Um, what do we have for Gemini? One more card, please. What do we have for Gemini? Ring! A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. This could even be a proposal, okay? It doesn't have to be an actual marriage, or you could be meeting somebody that you're going to marry. It could go many different ways. Dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with a dark complexion or dark hair. So a dark, a dark man. You're going to be dealing with a dark man this month. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Yay. Flowers, happiness. You notice there's a bird there too. You're going to be communicating with some man. This is a dark man that... Um, you know, you may end up marrying. You, maybe you're going to get proposed to. Or you meet this man and this is your partner. This is the one that you're going to marry. If you are in a relationship now, you your relationship may be stepping it up to the next level. This could all, remember this is marriage, either romantic or business. You could be uh, starting something with somebody, you know, starting a partnership with somebody. But we have this ram. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. doesn't have to be, but... Um, um, this is weird. We have a stubborn, aggressive person here. It could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, but either way, you may even receive some flowers because we have flowers here as well. Definitely a very romantic month for you. Um, but you probably will need to open up. Okay, maybe you're, maybe you're too stubborn. Maybe you need to be a little bit more gentle. Um, I think that is definitely going to be a happy month for you. Um... Definitely. Definitely. I mean, these are happy messages because birds deliver messages. So you're going to, this is, this is just going to be a beautiful month, which is fantastic. Um, what do we have for Gemini for the month of August? The moon. 
the moon. So the moon, there's an unclear path ahead. All is not as it seems. Beware, something is not as it seems. You may need to tame yourself a little bit because this is about taming and this is too. You may need to restrain yourself. You may be a little bit on the wild side and you need, you might need to be, it might be a wild month. It might be a very wild month. Um, either way, you are going to need to restrain yourself and not, and you're going to you're not, you're going to have to step forward with no fear because this is fear and this is let go of fear. Don't let fear get in the way of your happiness. Okay. Um, all is not as it seems. Maybe you don't trust. Maybe you don't trust. Um, you're going to need to follow your gut. Page of Cups. You definitely have an admirer here. Some you do. This is like this could be a secret admirer right now, or somebody that is love struck. Somebody that has a crush on you. This is somebody that has feelings for you. This is an expression of love. So somebody is definitely going to be expressing their feelings to you. The Tower reversed. Now, this is avoiding disaster, trying to avoid disaster. And I don't usually say that, but I feel like it's what it is. I feel like um, there's fear of building a foundation. You're fearful of building a foundation because you're fearful of what will happen if you do. What, are, what secrets does this person have? Um, Whoever this person is, I feel like whoever is coming in or whoever you're dealing with is going to help you to rebuild. They're going to help you to rebuild. Whatever that means. This tower, this is extremely um, disturbed, extremely unbalanced, um, chaotic. Things may be chaotic, extremely chaotic. The high priestess, you, this is an inner knowing. Time to reflect and follow your gut. You're going to need to follow your gut here. You're going to be presented with something, okay? That may seem, because this is seem, it may seem like it's unstable. It may seem like it is. Somebody is going to be giving you, you got some good news coming. This is a welcome offer or a welcome message. It's an opportunity that... You know, this could this could be a marriage. This could be a proposal. This could be, you know, just an invite somewhere. But there's a lot of fear. There's fear of, of getting yourself into something that isn't stable. I think your intuition is going to be on high this month. I think you should really be listening to it, okay? Really, really take time to go within and listen to your gut, okay? Because you're going to get the answers that way. If you take time to go within, you're, you will receive the answers that you are seeking, I feel like this is something you never saw coming. The Tower Reverse, you never saw this coming. You never saw this offer coming. You never saw this person coming. or You never thought this was going to happen or whatever this is. Um, and you're very, uh, I think you're reluctant. This is unclear. It's, it's you're, You may be confused. You may be like, wow. Wow. Um, justice this is getting what you deserve now this is all about getting what you deserve this is this is this is uh now it's interesting i just need to stop for a second this is a major this is a major this is a major this is a major that is a major so we have this is a universe the universe and this is a universe card the universe is is bringing you justice they're bringing you what you deserve after you have and it, see this one comes after this one after you have been in a situation that crumbled it crumbled it broke down it didn't last it was unstable it caused a major disturbance within you it caused a major upset it caused you to go through some sort of spiritual awakening as well it really taught you how to listen to your gut whatever this circumstance is you're about to get what you deserve. Okay, this is justice. Okay, you're getting an offer that you deserve. This is, this is, um, finally, too. It's, it's final. You know, the justice is the laws of karma that uh, bring you whatever it is that, that you deserve. Okay, this is karma straight, sees straight through a situation. Okay, 
um, and everything is going to turn out as it should. This uproar, this 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 uh, catastrophe that you went through before, maybe it was with the Pisces, maybe it was with a Scorpio, maybe it was with a Leo, maybe, I don't know, whoever it was with, who happened for a reason. Because now you're going to be getting the love that you deserve. Because this is the Page of Cups. This is the love that you deserve. Now, okay, let's get some more cards. This is going to bring balance. I think, did I say that earlier? I can't remember if I did. Whatever, when this offer comes in, it's going to balance out your emotions. It's, it's going to, it's going to um, bring balance to your life. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. This is happily ever after. It really is. This is financial success. This is a happy home. This is long-term stability. Uh, this is permanent. This is a permanent thing. You're going to... You are... You may be starting a family. Uh, moving in with somebody. Marrying somebody that is stable. They're bringing you something very, very abundant. Okay. This is abundant. This could this this is whatever this is. It is definitely abundant, extreme abundance. Eights are extreme abundance as well. So you are about to something's going to go in your favor. It's almost like you did the right thing. You overcame some sort. This is strong, very very strong. You overcame some sort of disaster. Now you're going to get something. Something is going to go in your favor. And it does have to do with permanency. This is, this is permanent. This is, this is, this is permanent. Very comfortable. Whoever you're dealing with, um, is abundant. Put it that way. The Empress reversed. So the Empress reversed is is um, in some sort of pain, suffering, doesn't know her value, doesn't know her worth. Um, very jealous, very possessive. It's going right here. So this Empress in reversed is an individual that... Um, probably doesn't know what love is and maybe maybe that's you doesn't know how to love this person probably had you know an absent mother or wasn't taken care of when they were young and doesn't know how to love okay this is or doesn't know what love is this is a lack of growth it's a lack of fertility Seven of Swords reversed. Now this is, is, is falling or getting caught. Getting caught. Getting caught doing something. There could be an... Uh, an this may, maybe, maybe whoever this person is. Or maybe this was you. This was you or something. This is a, this is a feminine. Or if you are a male, this is, some, this is whoever you were dealing with. That um, was cheated. This is being cheated. And that's why there's there's distrust here. Somebody was cheated. They were cheated on by an individual that um, had no values. That did, This person didn't have no values. The Empress in reverse doesn't know her value. Therefore, she don't have any values. This is somebody that is uncaring. We, we we have somebody coming in that wasn't taken care of. Or they're coming to love somebody that wasn't taken care of.
Three of Swords. We definitely have somebody here that has been hurt very, very, very badly. Or they're, this is painful. This is a painful situation. Because this is pain. But we're talking, we're talking about our August. So the Three of Swords is a painful separation. This could be somebody coming back around. The Seven of Swords reversed. Somebody that cheated. Somebody that you know, hurt you, caused you a lot of pain. I don't know who this is, but anyway, this three, because this is pain. This is pain. Somebody's in pain. Deceived, feeling betrayed. But this person's going to help you to heal. This person that is coming in is going to help you to heal from this pain. They're going to, they are. That's what I think this is. They're going to help you to heal from that disaster that hurt you so badly. You're about to get what you deserve. I know that you are. So getting what you deserve, somebody is going to, and maybe it's the person. Now, now let's change this up. This is, this is somebody, this is justice, getting what they deserve. This is a painful separation. You know, somebody is going to have a painful separation. Somebody is going to get caught cheating. They're going to get caught lying. They may have been sleeping around with some you know easy woman and they get caught and that caught that's what broke this person free what the hell is going on here there's been some this is a permanent loss the tower reverse that's a permanent loss that you never saw coming so i'm not sure what is going on something may be happening in your family Okay, this this is a family situation. I know I'm changing the story, but but August is there's a lot of different things that happen in August. Okay, there's there could be a family uh, change in the family legacy. Okay, just saying. Maybe it's it's time. It's time for the verdict. It's it's time. Okay, it's verdict time. Justice is about to be served for somebody that hurt you, somebody that didn't take care of you. I mean, we could change this up a million times. We could. You may have sensed this was coming, waiting for the moment, and you, the universe is in control. You are going to be receiving a message, okay? And it is going to be a welcome message, and you're, it's going to be in your favor. Something's going to go in your favor, Okay, and it may, I don't know if it has to do with money or it has to do with a home or it has to do with a relationship or whatever it is. Something is definitely going to go in your favor because the justice is upright in your reading. Okay, there's been some serious heartache though, some serious heart pain. Okay, uh, may have to do with a mother, an absent mother, you know, or somebody that just doesn't know their value. Okay, somebody may have gotten used. Okay, they may have gotten used because they did. They were cheated. They were betrayed because they didn't know their value. But anyhow, um, this is um, a rejection of some sort. Somebody's going to be rejected. Maybe you're going to reject somebody. I don't know. Five of Swords. There's definitely been a betrayal here. There's been a betrayal. There's been a there's been a battle. There's been a somebody that wanted to win at all costs, and I feel like you're just letting them. It's like you know what? I don't want to be a part of this. I don't. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. I feel like you're turning your back on an individual that is very aggressive. I feel like it's you and another person. You and you and another person are turning your back on an individual that is very combative. You've been dealing with an individual that likes to fight. This person who likes to fight is going is suffering. This person is suffering. I feel like they may collapse or somebody may collapse because the tower is a collapse. Somebody's is going to collapse. They're going to collapse. Whatever that means, I don't know. Um Five of Swords, that's walking away. You win. You win. I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. You know? You want to live in misery? You do it by yourself. Hanged Man Reversed. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces. We have Pisces here, Pisces here. We have Cancer. Um, we have Scorpio. We have Leo. We have Taurus. We have Libra. We have, we have Taurus and Libra. I said that already. Um, 
the hangman reversed, that is enlightenment. We have somebody here about to get a wake-up call. Okay, and you may be the one delivering it. Uh, there's going to be a rejection here. Somebody's going to get rejected. Um, uh, this is we have somebody here that is obsessed with control, and this person that is obsessed with control has really hurt you. They've hurt you. I know that they have. This person has a humongous ego. Ego, ego. Whoever you're dealing with has a huge ego. This person that has an ego, okay, ego, ego. Underneath it is the Three of Swords and the Tower reversed. These, This person who has a humongous ego is about to uh, be punished, okay, because the hangman is punishment. They're, they are about to experience a major uproar in their life. That they never saw coming. Maybe that's good news for you. You know, maybe it's the karma. It is definitely karma. So, Gemini, be prepared for that. I feel as though also you are receiving, you know, I think you're receiving something good. I do. I think that you're receiving um, an offer. Maybe it's emotional support, even. It could be even be an apology. You're going to be in control because that card came out for you in your reading in the upright. You're going to be in your power. And you're also going to need to be strong because there's going to be some upheaval. And I think it's in your family because of this Ten of Pentacles. Could have to do with the family legacy or money or something like that. And they, they, you could be dealing with a stepmother, the Empress Reverse, that is very greedy, very selfish. Okay, the Empress Reverse is like a stepmother or it's a mother or somebody that is very, very, very selfish, very self-centered and greedy and materialistic, okay, that has betrayed you and hurt you and stolen from you or something like that. Anyway, this, this person that is very uh, selfish is going to be experiencing some sort of pain, okay, in the, in the name of karma. Um, they are going to get punished for something. This is punishment. And karma or justice delivers a punishment. There's, and there is. This person hasn't been delivered their punishment yet. but Because there's no delivery yet. They're going to get it. They're going to get their punishment. You may be dealing with... A, this is Pisces. This is Pisces. Um, Leo. Somebody's going to fall right flat on their face. Anyhow, let's talk about, you don't, there's something going on behind the scenes that you don't know, okay? This person may be sick, they may be ill, and, and they're hiding it very well. So I don't know, somebody is hiding their illness very, very well. Um, but anyway, let's talk about love. Let's talk about this page of cups. Okay, this one fell out. Nine of Swords Reverse. You've been uh, weary, worried, distrustful, probably feeling having regrets. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough. I don't know what it is. Nine of Swords Reverse is extremely overwhelmed. Giving deep thoughts to any type of relationship, perhaps, because you've been very betrayed. You have betrayed here and betrayed here, and it's caused you a lot of pain. Anyhow, let's talk about love. Somebody is coming in. They're going to help you to release that. I know that they are. Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands is a competition. You have been involved in some sort of competition, haven't you? This is struggling. I don't. I don't know if you're going to court or if there was some sort of court because there's there is def, the justice in this. I don't know if there's been some sort of litigation. There's been some sort of fight, some sort of whatever. You may be dealing with it again this month. You may be very very worried that you're going to lose. I don't think you're going to lose. I think that the universe is going to step in and cause this wicked person to lose. That's what I think is going to happen. Anyhow, 
in the process, I do think that you are going to uh, be receiving emotional support from somebody, okay? Somebody that is very uh, smitten on you. This person is smitten on you. This person... Um, Maybe a friend of the family. Could even be a lawyer. Anyhow, um, this is the month where you are going to be in your power. This is going to be a very strong month for you. You are going to be on the happy end of whatever is happening. I think that you are walking away as winning. And because you don't fight with this person, the universe steps in and takes care of them. You are dealing with a stubborn, aggressive person that doesn't know what love is. And they're very, very greedy and selfish. And it's like they're trying to steal from you. And I don't know what they're trying to steal, but they're trying to steal. I think it is, you're going to, you're probably going to have some tears this month as well. I think it's going to be an emotional month. I do. You're going to need to master your emotions and keep it together because somebody may be poking you. Okay. They may be poking you. They may be trying to punish you. But in the end, I think they're the ones that are going to get punished and you are going to get exactly, they're going to get what they deserve and you're going to get what you deserve. Anyhow, um, be prepared to deal with some sort of major uh, fated event that causes a permanent loss in your life. Okay, that's, the, that's a fact. Okay, that is going to happen. And, but this is something probably that you've been waiting for. I don't think it's it's something that is... I do. I feel like it's something you have been waiting for. I think that you should expect the unexpected because now we have three fives. I think that you are probably going to be grieving over this loss, whatever it is. Or you have been grieving over it. And now there's something coming in. There is with that page of cups that is very welcome. That is going to make you very, very happy. And I think it's going to be a huge surprise to you. You truly don't see it coming. It's after you have been betrayed. and You have been betrayed to the max. Okay? Anyway, good luck.